Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Ninth Legion. Let's play some more Factorio. So, right now, what is our biggest problem? It appears to be a lack of green circuits, because we are using them kind of everywhere. So, what's slowing it down is mostly... Actually, we've got enough production here, I think. It's we're not getting enough copper plate through to keep the... Uh, what is this? The copper, copper cable production. Uh, words using trying to say things. We're not making enough stuff. We need more stuff so we can make more stuff, is, is what I'm saying. Okay, logistics robot speed 1 is done. Uh, let's get cargo size 1 going. So we need to increase and upgrade this. Uh, why? You're not working at all. Why are you not working? You're full. Why are you full? Because you're not outputting fast enough. Okay, I can see. I can see several problems here. Right, let's upgrade this, so it's nice and fast. I didn't realise we hadn't upgraded this, but clearly that is causing us a bottleneck. If we've got plate that's being made and is just sitting... ...in the furnaces, that's, that's no good. All of this red until I run out of insert a belt. Insert a belt? <laughs> until I run out of belt. Rubber. Uh, that belt, however, can go back in the chest here because I don't really want all of it. Don't use yellow belt at all anymore. So that can all just go away. Uh, I'll take some more of that. Thank you very much. Uh, how far have we got? I, all of this belt should be red for everything now. That's just my personal opinion. I don't know if it's the most efficient way of doing it, but it's kind of what I want to happen. Damn, power pole, get out of the way. Yeah, let's start doing this for the main, for the main elements at least. There we go. And we're going to want to get our splitters fast as well. This might just be a general upgrade episode. I was so close to getting robots. I mean, I was I was really working on robots. I promise. And we'll change you to nice and fast ones as well. Okay. That that's going pretty quick. That's probably about as much as I can do. What I've realised is, I shouldn't be running to making these so long, because as you can see, they, it's not the best way of doing it. I should be putting it on either side so that we can put, so they deposit onto both sides of the belt. Power, oh, actually, even in the day we're now hitting some power issues. Well, we were going to work towards some solar power soon, so hopefully we can do that without too much issue. Okay, how's that? Yeah, that has sorted out our supply problem quite easily. There we go. Lots lots and lots of that stuff coming off. We'll actually go and speed you up as well. Damn it. Ran into a power pole. Knocked me off course. There we go. Isn't that a lovely sight? So that should hopefully be enough to keep up so we can start making ourselves some robots. So, what do we actually need for robots? Where are where are the robots? Here we go. Logistic robots, advanced circuits, and electronic circuits. Okay. So we've got a line here, which we are probably going to need to expand. So I don't want to make my robots too close. Okay, I'm going to do this kind of setup again. We can bring advanced circuits up one line, and we'll bring green circuits up the other. So we'll have two separate lines. And I need to get these frames coming up in the middle. 
ideally. If I put them too ah, one too far apart. Next time, put that down first. Where are they? There they are. Losing track of all the items I've got now. There's so much stuff in this game, it's crazy. Nope. Logistic robot cargo size one done. Uh, let's see, character logistic slots. That would be pretty handy, so we can have the robots bring us stuff. Okay, this is a simple plan. But you will build for me logistic robots. And you will build for me construction robots. And I'm not quite sure where you're going to output to yet. I guess I'm going to have to give you somewhere to put an output into. But we'll worry about that later. Uh, let's actually extend the main bus a little bit. I have started building a bit too close to the main bus. I should be further away here, but oh well. It won't stop me doing anything, I don't think. I'm out of belt again. At this rate, I'm going to have to be making more belt. Because I'm not even giving it a chance to uh, completely fill up before I'm using it all. There's nothing slowing you down, you just... Yeah, you could probably could, I probably could put an extra inserter on there. Hang on, let's try that. There's a very slight speed increase there, I think. But I'll take it. Probably won't expand the batteries right now because I'm not sure I'm going to need them. Any, f I'm not sure what else I'm going to need them for now that I've got my f robot flying frame production being sorted out. And I'm going to bring the frames up through the centre here, so logistics and construction robots will have equal picking. I don't know if that's a good plan or a bad plan, but it's my plan. We're going to want some green circuits, which. Still isn't coming through as quickly as I'd like, even though those are working at full speed now. Well, full speed when they have enough power, which they don't. Okay, we need to... We might have to do another set of boilers, rather than waiting... ...for... Uh, rather than waiting for solar power. Because I'm going to be nicking a bunch more of these off here. Now, these ones are the ones that need the green circuits, aren't they? Yep. So. Yep, no, that worked. I was just losing my goddamn mind. And that'll be for the red circuits. Why have I got so much a big gap in the middle here? Oh, it's because I was, I was going to be running plastic down here. Until a very helpful person did point out to me that that was a ridiculous idea and you don't need plastic on your bus. And this is how we learn things. Okay, so they've got the circuitry they need. Or they would do if that was the right way around. Yeah, excellent. So, I need to bring the flying frames in. I could... Yeah, I'll loop it down. Let's turn this around. Okay, flying frames are now present. These are never quite big enough to do everything you want them to do. Almost, but not quite. OK, 
Okay, so we'll have you output onto this side. And we'll have you output onto this side. And of course the power doesn't reach that far, because why would it? Fine, I'm just going to give you more power. You greedy, greedy monsters. Okay, we now have construction and flying robots. Uh, sorry, construction and logistic robots. Which means I'm going to need to make some roboports. So they can go into them, and then I can start giving them orders to do stuff. Which will be quite exciting. Uh, insert, no, we don't, probably don't want to do that just yet. Piercing shotgun shells. That could come in handy, but that needs alien science. Uh, yeah, speed module 2s. We're going to be wanting to make some more speed modules sooner rather than later, I imagine. Uh, I can make one roboport. What do I not have enough of? Eh, most things, actually. Grab some of that. What else did I need? Advanced circuits. Advanced circuit production is also starting to feel the cost here. Definitely need to expand some of our earlier production efforts. Right, give me another one of those, and I'll take that, thank you. Can I put them directly in? I can! Excellent. Uh, you need some power, obviously. So you've got 17 robots. Actually, no, I can do... Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. I can do this another way. Where are... Passive provider chest. Provides his content to requesters, construction, and player. If I use a couple of... Passive provider chests... Where are you? Where's... Why are there no more robots? Why have you stopped making robots? Oh, we've used up all the frames. Okay, yeah, we're definitely going to be wanting more of that, I think. Where are the robots? There we go. Okay, so now I can start putting down roboports. And as you can see here, they have a, a radius for construction and for logistics. Speed module 2s are done. Let's keep working through the modules. Uh, so we do want to start trying to cover off kind of the centre of our factory. There we go. And now, let's test this out quickly. If I were to s tell them... Actually, no, there's nothing in the network right now. Okay, bear that in mind. There's nothing in the goddamn network for them to actually construct with. So we are going to need to think about replacing a lot of our inputs or a lot of our outputs with provider chests in short order. Okay, that's building up our network for a start. But yeah, we need to get our materials being put into provider chests rather than straight onto the bus now. So all of these could get turned into, say we turn that into a another passive provider chest, There we go. It will still do the same functions, but if I now put down kind of a blueprint for for belt and make sure I'm in the network to do it, will the robots go and do it? No, because they're not. Why are you not doing? Why? Why? I thought I knew how this worked, but I don't. Do you need to be in there? I thought that would tell you to go and make some for me, but it didn't. And I'm now confused. Okay, apparently I don't know how to use robots. This is going to be exactly the same thing as when I didn't know how to get into the car. What am I doing wrong? Do you not need to be in a passive provider chest? Do you need to be in an active provider chest? 
I will admit, I don't entirely know the difference. Yeah. Let's put you in there as well. I'll try that again. Should you not being be made? That's not in the network, is it? Okay, right. Very slowly figuring out what I don't know, which is most of it. Okay, if I were to put that in the network, which it just no, it is in the network, that should have worked. He says, not understanding what he doesn't know. Okay, I thought that was laying a blueprint, but maybe it's not. Maybe I don't know how this works at all. Maybe I should stop recording and go away and figure out what I need to do next. So I think that's what I'm going to do. And uh, yeah, well I hope you guys found this enjoying, thank you for watching, do leave a like, leave a comment, feel free to subscribe, and next episode I will have worked out how to use robots. So, see you later. Bye.